Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's time to play some Dark Cloud. I've only been playing <laughs> some other game that just came out on my off time. <laughs> Although I won't be uh, doing a Let's Play of it because it's too story based. It's a cool game. Uh, and I really like it, but I think I'll save it for a review as, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's like, I feel like a Let's Play would ruin that game. And by that game, if you're looking away from the screen after five seconds of turning on the video, fair enough, you're probably doing your laundry or something, or maybe you're at work, or who knows what. Actually, good question. What are y'all doing when you watch my videos? I want to know. Are you watching the videos? Or are you just keeping them on the side? Who knows? Why am I trying to save the game? Who knows? Nobody knows. Uh, let's head back to Sindane Station, because I don't think we checked to see if Eric had more explosive devices. Some IEDs. I mean, that's pretty much what they are, right? Some EEDs for us to use. Uh, how is the ride pod doing? I remember getting the ride pod kind of beat up a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit injured. Oof. Big oofs. Uh, let's see. Repair parts? Yes, please. I love this stupid little hat we got for, <laughs> for Max. Hey, look, it's the best, actually. How, how dare you guys think it looks bad? How dare you monsters? All right. Oh my goodness, perfect timing. It may not be full charge, but you know what? It's probably better that it's not full charge. That way we get more value. Thank you, sir, for the free money. I appreciate it. Don't tell Eric that we don't actually use his bombs and that we actually sell them. Because <laughs> I think, I feel like Eric would be really upset if he found out that we're using them for entirely the wrong reasons. Hey, Max, I worked super hard to make sure, <laughs> to make sure that everything works great for you, bud. You know, you'll be able to take out any monster with, with these explosives. Don't worry, Max, I got your back, bro. Fucking <laughs> just sells them. Sells them on the black market. Oh my gosh. Max, what a savage. Did Monica put you up to this? I'm gonna put it, <laughs> you know what? Probably she did. Now that I think about it, Monica probably puts Max up to a lot of shit. All right, here we are. Maybe I'll actually be able to level up my wrench. Actually, no, this is my main wrench. <gasps> oh, okay, maybe not the wrench. Uh, what was it? Oh my God, I can level up my weapon. Do I want to? Oh, it turns into the trumpet gun. Wait a minute, so when you build it up, it actually becomes better? Well... Oh, intro. okay. Hold on here. What's the status of this one again? The durability is one lower. I still think... We should break down this gun and then throw it into the... The trumpet gun, because then we'll have a little bit of a boost. Interesting how it goes like that. Maybe the revolver was better? I don't know. I don't know these things. If I, if I remember to go back in my videos and, and read the comments, I apologize. I do read the comments and I do respond to them, but then I forget about the comments and then I'm like, oh yeah, that thing that someone told me to do. <laughs> and I just totally forgot. All right, I already got an ice elemental. Oh, okay, well, that sucked. Okay, sir. Ooh, oh no. Right, you're a magical guy. All right, all right, we have someone. Okay, well, I guess Ride Pod can come out. I <laughs> can just smoke ya. <laughs> Murdered. All right. Not exactly what I meant to do. I meant to switch over to Monica, but then I forgot that Monica is L3, not R3. One day I'll remember the buttons between the last time and now. All right, flame crystals. I mean, we gotta recuperate the losses. Going into this, thank goodness. Thank you, game. Praise be. Praise be to RN Jesus. Yeah. For, for we all know he is on our side. Forever and always. Yeah. Alright. I appreciate that you can open the boxes from behind. You couldn't do that in Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls? You couldn't do that in Dark Souls. But also you couldn't do that in Dark Cloud 1. Actually, now that I think about it, can you open boxes from behind in Dark Souls? Or, I don't know. It's just a theory. It's, what the hell is that thing? A Giyumo? I do not remember this monster in this game at all. What? It's a giant, like, walking 
anthropomorphic bull man. I mean, yeah. Oh god, what's his move set? It's headbutt. Oh, oh no. Okay, not so bad. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh god, Max, your damage output here, sir. You're letting me down, Max. Oh wow. <laughs> there you go. Some may say that we are underpowered. <laughs> uh, to be fair, what, what we should be doing for damage-wise is uh, enough damage to kill them before they get into anger mode. Um, clearly, we have not set ourselves up in that way. It could be that we're just spreading ourselves too thin in a lot of uh, cases here in terms of like our ABS. Because you've seen, I mean, if you're watching the series, guys, so like, you know, I've been like killing every single dude along the way. Um, but essentially, a lot of the ABS has been going into other weapons, trying to make sure they can build up and get more powerful. Yeah. And then we throw those weapons into our main weapons, yeah. which, in theory, if I don't mess it up like I did already, uh, will make us even more powerful than we cur currently are and forever will be. All right, sir. I don't know how you knock down a fireball, but we just did. Because of course we did. Oh god, I hate, I hate you. <laughs> I hate that you take one damage. They're clearly resistant to uh, this piercing weapon. Oh man. Oh shit. Well, I done did it again, and I broke my freaking pistol. That's what I get. That's what I get for that. I probably would be better off to switch to Monica and killing them off. Come at me, bro. Excellent. Get back up so I can knock you back down. One more hit. Yeah! Clap those hands together, sir. There we go. That's much better. Alright. Oh god, it's Ice Elemental again. Ugh. I love the hit stun in this game. It's so god tier, dude. Can I hit him one more time? I sure can't. <laughs> Shit. I avoided him. Ah oh, man, this pistol sucks. I want it. I want the gooder pistol, the trumpet pistol. But I need one more level. We're so close. We're so close. And like, I like getting the last hit on him. It's kind of like you know, League of Legends, right? It's like you gotta get that last hit. It's so important, bro. You gotta get the extra gold. It's super good. If you're playing Dota, you gotta get the last hit on your opponents, guys, too. Oh my goodness. And then it denies them gold. And then you get to be a true evil boy. What the f- Okay. Have I ever played this video game before? What the fuck is the killer snake doing here? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we gotta kill him with a the sword. There's no other way. Hey. You seem to be- Oh my god, he's like the thickest armor boy of all time. My goodness gracious. What? He can go underground? That's hacks. Okay, and you can't. Unblockable. Unblockable horseshit. Oh, okay. Well, he's angry now. Okay, it takes three hits to get into the, the phase there. Oh, someone pointed out that apparently if you have stuff in your hotbar, it's completely separate than if it's in your inventory. Inventory in this game is super weird to me. It, do we have infinite inventory? Does it just never end? Who knows, right? It feels like it, though. It feels like we have shit tons of inventory. Holy crap, those freaking killer snakes have so much HP. In comparison to every other enemy that we've fought so far, those guys are crazy. All right. Max seems to be the counter to the ice elemental. It kind of makes sense. Smash ice. Okay. Uh, note to self, don't fight things on low ground. Be like Obi-Wan, have the high ground. All right, hit him in the face. Well, I mean, it's a little cruel to kick him in the face like that. He's a little bit distraught now. Oh, we found the glitch. We found the glitch. All right, please, 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 please. Dude, you're so close. Oh my god, he's so close to leveling, Max. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god, oh my god, there's so much crazy shit here, dude. 
I need to buy more bread. I think that's definitely one thing we gotta do. You know what? See the uh, see the chestnut. See the chestnut. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. He can't even hit me. He's too high up in the air. Oh no. And I can't hit him. Obviously, we're supposed to hit him with, like, Monica's uh, armlet, but I like to live dangerously. And by dangerously, I mean I want to level my gun. Oh, oh, please, please. Okay. Woo! I almost messed up. Oh, you turned around, dummy. That's what you get. You turn around, you get the blap blap. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there we go. All right, now we have level five gun. So yeah, we're not building up. We're not building up. We're gonna synthesize it. Synthesize me, fool. Uh, and then, hold on, let's go to status real quick. So we have 10 synthesis points. Okay, we're gonna baby step it this time. We're gonna do like two smash TVs and then we'll just throw those in there. It's what I need. Do it. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, got the six, perfect. All right, what else do we have? It has literally no stats other than Cyclone and Smash, right? So we'll do Beast. Cause yeah, I gotta play, I gotta play a little bit more careful this time. Because last time we synthesized, we went so overkill to the point of where we didn't get any benefit out of it, and we lost a bunch of resources out of it. Which does suck. It's a bit disheartening. Of course, reloading the save is always the right choice, but at the same time, I like to live with my failures. All right, and then two more. I mean, you know, I like to live with my fa my failures. That's what my parents say. <laughs> Shit. Got him. The ultimate failure. Uh, hello, sir. Throw that in there, and we got two more. Do we throw in the scales? I guess we throw in the scales, why not? And there you go, we got flat sixes across the board, which I think will translate into four? Three, three or four, it depends if it rounds up or down, right? Because it's gonna be 60% of the, so this is, I'm actually kind of curious if we should be, like if we get say a lot of weapons, I'm really curious to see if we should be just breaking them down immediately. Uh, as some of you have mentioned, the, the attack rating that we get out of synthesizing weapons has been extremely nerfed in this game in comparison to DC1, which makes it quite a bit more rough. Uh, all right, Spectrum minus this bad boy. Uh, rounds down. Well, actually, I don't know, because like if I guess if we had 10, we would get six exactly, right? So if we got nine, we get five, you think? If we had nine stats? I was kind of hoping for a four, but, you know, whatever. All right. All right, all right, all right. Spectrumize. Durability goes down to nine. And then the attack is always a question mark. All right. Five synthesis points needed. Here we go. Status. Oh, you only have one. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Oh no, it actually requires more than one synthesis point. For some reason, my brain always thought it was a single synthesis point when doing this. Hmm. Now it makes me question if it even is worth it. Shit. Alright, sir. Oh my god. Okay, whew. That was scary. Oh, I, I just... Oh shit. Whoop. I don't want that snake coming over here. It's not over yet, snake. Oh my god. How did- Oh, I love that you can animation cancel. Okay, nice. So we need levels on our trumpet gun. Basically, we just need levels for everything. Ah. Ooh, we got some black paint. Cool. On the right side, we do bonus damage if we go in here. Oh, we're not. Ah, oh. Yeah, okay, definitely Monica's sword is going to be doing better here. Oh, wait, maybe these guys are considered, like, big boys. Yeah, maybe... 
I don't know. Are killer snakes considered big boys? I mean, I kind of love the idea that this killer snake from the quick time event of Dark Cloud 1 is thrown into this game. I totally forgot they did that. That's awesome. It's like all these enemies that are like, yeah, we should probably give them a little bit more to do in this one. It almost makes, I don't know, I guess Dark Cloud 2 kind of feels like a semi-remake of DC1. Maybe it's like all the things that they wanted to do, but now they have a budget. But at the same time, there's so much differences to it. And I kind of like the story of Dark Cloud 1 more, but you know, whatever. So this is the, um, what I'm saying about the new back rooms in this game, or special rooms, or whatever you want to call them. Um, although it's not technically a back room, they are more of a, a linear route. So once we get to a certain point in the game, we can actually go this way, but it is for now locked off to us. And we, I don't think we'll be able to access it for quite some time. Oh God. I love how the game is just like, you know what? I'll lock onto that for you. I'm like, bro. Not yet, bro. Little did you know I have the power of Goro. Oh, what a beast. Set himself up for a one-hit KO. All right, sick. Um, <laughs> it'll only take forever to get there. Uh, where is my repair juice? There it is. That's exactly what it's called, repair juice. You know what, I want to see... Oh God, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I want to go to Monica, please. There we go. Oh, uh, I mean, it's not great. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's not great. Shit, man. It makes the game so much harder. I guess, I don't know, I don't want to go all in on one character, but it kind of feels like I need to. I want to avoid farming. I do like the charge up mechanic, though. Get them while they're down. At least we're about to get a couple level ups on Monica. We definitely want to start pumping in some more attribute points through a weapon. I'm kind of bummed out about how uh, synthesizing weapons takes up more synthesis points. I didn't even realize that before. Because that drastically changes things. Like, obviously, sure, weapons are great and all. Uh, and, and the fact that you can get those attack boosts, uh, especially if you can't get actively get, what do you call it? Uh, the attack spheres. Because the attack spheres are usually pretty rare. Not as rare as coins, uh, but they're still relatively rare. Oh no! Good thing I didn't get the chill effect. God damn it, that range I did 27 damage because it's a counter magic. Yeah, get him! That guy always loves turning his back on me, doesn't he? Yeah, there we go. Level up on the armband. Okay, so what do we need to start building this bad boy up? Attack up, eh? Okay, well, we do have an attack up crystal. And at this point, I think we should go a little bit more all in on this weapon. Because I'm liking it so far. Bada bing, bada boom. Get it in there. All right, how are we looking? Oh my god, we can already do it. Crystal Brazard, all right. Get some ruby weapons up in here. Look at that. It looks so much worse visually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, which route do we go down? Flame? We're kind of going all in on flame, aren't we? All in on flim flam. We got uh, three perks to go down. We do have a lot of fire though, so you know what? I think we're going to go all in on flame. Just for right now. Just because we have, we have the resources. Whoop. There we go. Woohoo! 45! Still not enough. Also, we need, um, attack, too. Alright, hold up here. I need Briad. There we go. Uh-oh, we got sound wave over there. And then we have fire element. Ugh. 
Oh, I just realized. Oh god, I just realized that Monica can't switch into the ride pod at wi at a will. At will. Damn, damn her. Can she be cool like Maximilian? I'm actually really surprised why that's the case, because then R three just becomes inoperable. I think her R three though is the capsules, the monster capsules or whatever. We definitely want to get 800 EXP though on Ride Pod. I uh, see what I mean. Like it's so easy to just kind of spread all your abs out. It sucks. I want to level everything, every single thing. Uh, <laughs> these guys love turning their back on me. I don't know what's going on. Oh god. All right, I want to level my sword a little bit. I think the sword needs some love. How is the sword doing? How are we doing on status? We're at 13 synthesis points. I don't think I needed to repair there, but you know. When you hit buttons too fast, it happens. Uh, Cyclone and Exorcism, eh? I think we can do that. Uh, let's do, say, three Cyclone. I don't think that's too overboard. Alright, synthesis size. Going to 19, right? Hell yeah. All right, how are we doing? All right, and all we need is exorcism, which I'm assuming is this one. Holy. Intense battle music is intense. All right, sweet. I think we want to just go straight to the broadsword because I don't think the synthesis points. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they do carry over, I mean to say. Oh my god, the triple fork in the road. Alright, at least now we have a broad sword. <laughs> Imagine if Ashley was called that. The broad. Oh, you wanna get kicked, son? Eh. What? Hacks. I call hacks, sir. I didn't see how many points the ride pod had. Hopefully it's 800. I have a feeling it's not. I think it's like, like 780. Oh god! Monica, I need your help. Oh god, please! I hate you. Oh my god, she does so much damage. Dude, this thing is a beast! Not just like that, Monica is a god. I, I don't know if there's like a, a hidden stat or something depending on how leveled down a tier list your weapon is, but who knows. Hey, wait, what? Why does it have like a sun symbol on it? Does that mean it's a normal route? I can't tell. I'm not, I'm not sure. I believe I misunderstand. I want to see how much her broadsword's gonna do. Now Monica's just a god. After like five seconds of just leveling her shit. Oh god. Okay, I take it all back. I take it all back. Because <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I was holding down block and he still hit me. Oh! Okay. Alright, uh, 17 damage, so not so hot. I don't know, maybe I guess. I mean, it is. she does have a lot of fire damage on the weapon, so let's be fair. All right, all right, hold on. Hold on a second, sir. Oh, we were at 805. All right. Oh, just to be safe, might as well grab a bit more. I like... <laughs> they didn't do an animation for when uh, Steve wins. That's a bit disappointing. I think that would be hilarious. I want to I see Max like do a little cheer or something like that, you know? That'd be so cute. All right, let's head back to town. I want to see uh, just how far we are. Oh my goodness. The game did not like that. Apparently if you have uh, Ride Pod equipped, the text box glitches out. And the game's like, don't do that, Sam. You know not what you're doing. All right, let us exit the dungeon. Return home. Momentarily, anyway.
curious to see what we've learned so far about what we need for the Georama. Okay, so <laughs> here's our lovely town that we stripped bare. Downloading Geostone. Woohoo! Now you can make all this crap. Perfect. Eye tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about the eye trees. Yes. To rebuild Duraxis. Uh, we'll need to remake his eyeballs. Quite literally. Don't ask me how. <laughs> They're kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. And one's bigger than the other. So, you know. And then you have the nose tree. Ah, oh, yes, you just gotta go past the nose tree straight to Sindane. Uh, okay, so we need 15 river parts placed. Just period. I don't even think you need to be attached to anything in particular. Uh, okay. Withered tree restored. Actually, wait. I think the only way to restore the withered tree is by connecting it to the river, though. So, I don't know. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> it's been a while. Forest Lake restored. Gordon Ramsay lives in Sindane. It's raw. Uh, okay. Who's Gordon? Isn't that the, um... That's the chef, isn't it? It's gotta be. Maybe they did name him Gordon after Gordon Ramsay. Polly Shore lives in Sindane. Melane. Or Milani? Okay, well, we're still not there yet. We don't have uh, everyone just yet. Oh, yeah, I guess there is um, water right here in the lake. So, like, let's say we make a river, right? I just want to see. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Wow, look how massive the rivers are, dude. It's like a giant pond. Uh-oh. What have I done? Uh-oh. According to the Geostone you brought back this time, if we want to bring Jirak back, we need to get someone who knows about trees to immigrate to Sindane. Get someone to immigrate? That's right. There are lots of people living in Palm Brinks, right? We've got to get those people to immigrate out into the world. That way, the future will develop. Huh, I see. And so what we need right now is someone who knows about trees, huh? Max, do you know anyone like that? Well, I have a bald man that hangs outside my house. He waters all my plants. Hmm, someone who knows about trees. Oh, I've got it. It's Gordon. Gordon? Yeah, he's our gardener. He's an expert on trees. He's perfect. I bet he's in our yard right now, tending to the flowers or something. Really? Well, that's great. Let's go. Okay. Go back to Palm Brinks and look for Gordon, you monster. All right. So that's Gordon. I thought for some... Oh, man, that'd be too perfect, though. They should have named... They should have named my chef Gordon. It would have been better, okay? I know things. I know I, I'm the ultimate pun man. Listen, I've played Final Fantasy XIV. They literally have a dedicated pun team. They have a team dedicated to puns. How else do they name their fate so perfectly? <laughs> it's the best. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right there. Oh, no. How do I how do I turn on the outro? Wait, what? The outro is glitching out. Well, you know what? Let's try that again. Hey, now it's working. Why is it failing? Everything's breaking today, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a fun time. And uh, I'll see you in the next one when we go steal Gordon. 